ever. <laughs> What's up y'all? So we received a step through commuter to review. This is the first step through that we're reviewing that has a reinforced rib, which I think is like a pole that goes through your step through bike that makes it more secure, more stable. Uh, sometimes step through they're not that stable. So the bike that we received is a far bike uh, cruise city commuter bike. It's supposed to go 60 miles per charge. This bike weighs 65 pounds and the maximum weight of the rider is 275 pounds. It has a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery. It has a 500 watt motor. And the good thing about this bike is the price. Like this is more on the affordable side. I think as of right now, it's around $1,000 and you can use my discount code in the description below to make it even cheaper. Around $1,000? Yeah. That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this. We're going to put it together, go through all of the features. And then uh, we're going to go on the commute part of our trail because I do think this has puncture resistant tires, but not all terrain tires. This really is a city cruiser bike. So we're going to go to the city, cruise around, see what it's like cruising around in this e-bike. All right, ready? Easy. So this is what the bike looks like fresh out the box here. Um, does look like it was packaged pretty well. I don't like how they put this quick release tool on the tire here. So we took the wrapping off the bike. Uh, this is pretty much what it looks like after you take the wrapping off. Looks like we will have to uh, connect the handlebar here. The headlight is already installed, but it looks like we will have to put on the front fender here and the 26 by 2 inch front tire here. We'll have to put the pedals on. The rear rack came already installed and the battery is concealed in the body here. This bike also came with a box. So let's see what's in the box. Okay, okay you have our owner's manual here. Looks like it did come with some step-by-step -step instructions here. Uh, not a whole lot of pictures, but okay. Came with, uh, look like our standard pedals, which are labeled. Uh, came with our Tool kit here. Uh, I don't usually use the standard tool kit. I use my own. Um, a cup holder. And came with our, I'm assuming this is our battery charger, which will take uh, five to eight hours to charge our battery here. So the first thing we're going to do is put the front wheel on because we want to go ahead and make sure we can use the kickstand because the bike have already failed twice. We have to take this out the brake before we can put our front tire on. We're now about to unscrew these to put the handlebar on. I always try to lift my fender off the tire as much as I can. All right, so we put our far bike together. Took us about 30 minutes to put this bike together. From wheel to wheel, this bike is about five feet, nine inches long. The seat at its lowest point from the ground is about two feet, seven inches. The handlebar is about three feet, four inches from the ground. Get a look at our reinforcing rib here, which is supposed to make a step through bike more stable. I do think this is a good looking bike. Again, I love it when uh, the battery is concealed here. Uh, looks good for a step through. The uh, reinforcing rib does give it a unique look. Get a look at our rear rack here. Rear rack is about six inches wide. Get a look at our front and rear disc brakes here. Get a look at our seat here. Uh, does seem a little firm, not gonna lie. Look like we have adjustable suspension in the front here. So if you want to open up your suspension, you turn it this way. If you want to lock it, you turn it the other way, let's say you're on a flat surface. Give you all an idea of the suspension here. Get a look at our nice wide handlebar here. It's about two feet, four inches wide. Now I've never gotten a grip like this on a bike before. Um, seems like it'll be a grip more for a sports bike, not a commuter bike. So, And I like the concept because it kind of gives you a more aggressive grip here. Look like we have my favorite gear shifter on this bike. Uh, eight gears. You can, uh, there's a trick on the other side to go up a gear, go down a gear. We have a bell here. 
Who the hell gonna hear that? We're not gonna press and hold our M button here to turn our LCD display on. If you press and hold the up button here, it'll turn your headlight on. So you can see my headlight is on. That also turns your rear light on. If you wanna change pedal assist mode, hit up or down on your panel here. If you quickly click the M button here, you will get more options down here. So I can go from my odometer to my trip mileage, uh, to my voltage. So how long have I had the bike on? Some other basic items you have on your display here. You have your energy bar at the top. You have your miles per hour here, your pedal assist, uh, your uh, light indicator here. If you press and hold the down button, you will go into walk assist. Walk assist takes you up to three miles per hour. To go into your advanced settings, you're gonna press and hold the up and the down button here. Okay, we're in our advanced settings. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I will go through some of them. Uh, P01 is your LCD screen brightness here. We're going to keep it at a 2. P02 is how you want to calculate your speed. Do you want to do miles per hour or kilometers? And to change the settings, you're going to press up or down to go to the next setting. You're going to hit M. P08 is your limit speed. So we're definitely going to change that. And that's in kilometers. We're going to change it to the max. Make sure we're going as fast as we can. So it says the max is 41. Now P12, I think, is very important. It's called motor responsiveness. And you can adjust whether you want it to be quick or gradual regarding your pedal assist. P16 is whether you want to reset your odometer. P19 is whether or not you want to use cruise control. Look like this bike has cruise control. Now you can charge this concealed battery while it's in the bike by uh, plugging your battery charger here. But if you do want to take the battery out, you're just going to come on the other side here. Put your key in there and uh, turn it. And then you can take your battery out here. So we're now about to try the different pedal assist modes, starting with mode one. So we're going to start out in mode one. Let's uh, see how fast we're going on. Mode one. Okay. And very smooth and uh, quiet so far. Okay. I don't even think y'all can, can y'all even hear the motor? Anyway, uh, 16, 16 miles per hour, so check the brakes. Oh, really nice brakes. Now I'm gonna switch it to mode two. Let's see how fast we going on, mode two here. Okay. I can hear the motor a little bit more now. Still pretty quiet. Okay, let's see, 16, 18. Bring up the gear a little bit here. 19. Okay. Really impressed by the brakes. 19 miles per hour, mode two. Okay, let's now switch it to mode three. Can't be going mode three here. Okay, don't feel the need to change my gears. Uh, 20, 21, okay. 21 miles per hour, mode three. Let's now switch it to mode four. And I'm uh, really impressed by the pedal assist so far. Gives you like a perfect level of pedal assist so far. So, Okay, I'm gonna go up a gear here. Uh, okay. Two. Almost 23. Okay, not quite 23. Now it's time to switch it to mode five. And this bike is pretty gradual, so we'll probably have to test out mode five when we have a longer strip, but Let's see how fast we go anyway. Okay. 24, 25, 26. All right, I hit 26 miles per hour, mode five. So I was able to go a maximum of 26 miles per hour, um, even though we have such a short strip here. So we'll test out the max speed again later. Uh, so far, what I'm impressed with is the brakes. The brakes are pretty much perfect. 
and uh, the pedal assist. The pedal assist uh, seems perfect too, but we'll test that out more later. So now let's have the lady test ride this bike and uh, see what she thinks. So far bike cruise city bike. Um, what are your thoughts? I like the far bike. I think I like commuter bikes. You like commuter bikes? Commuter style bikes. I think what I like the most about this one is you can feel the suspension. Yeah. Like you can feel you're not you're not hurting yourself when you hit a crack or a bump or anything like yeah. that. So is there anything that you didn't like about the bike? there's anything I just didn't like about the bike I it I think that maybe it doesn't give me the stability and the safety that I, I feel mm -hmm. um, not that it's not safe but you know I feel like it could be maybe a little sturdy a little sturdier yeah okay so what would you give this bike on a scale from 1 to 10 Ooh. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give this a nine. A nine? Five by a nine. Hey. All right, so we're about to get our point of view shots in. A uh, beautiful day in the neighborhood today. Uh, the weather's perfect here today. <laughs> uh, we kind of had bad weather here as of late. thing I want to mention about this bike is that the pedal assist is pretty much perfect. Um, this gives you the perfect level of pedal assist where you're still getting a workout in <clears throat> but you feel like the electricity is helping you too. Uh, oftentimes a bike is either or like either you have to really kick to get the pedal assist going or it gives you too much pedal assist where you don't feel like you're getting a workout in. Also this bike is very quiet like it's very stealthy. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all can hear the electricity here. Right? You can hear it, but it's very quiet, right? So this is a very stealthy um, bike. Very smooth, too. So, But I do wish, I do wish that the handlebars were adjustable because the handlebar is so far away from the seat here, you're almost forced to go in a more traditional bike stance like this. You're almost forced to do it which is okay, but this is a commuter bike, so what if you needed to sit upright for some things? Um, or be in a more cruiser style stance. It's almost hard to do because the um, handlebar is so low and it's so far away from the seat, so. The big tires and the wide handlebar we can do a lot of lanes in this bike uh, when we turn. So that's pretty standard when you have large wheels and a wide handlebar. Gradual lanes here. Nice lane here. So that's good. All right, so we have a bit of a straightaway here. So we're gonna try the maximum speed in uh, mode five here. See how fast we go here. Mode five. Two, four, five, six, 26. All right, so 26 miles per hour, mode five. So we're now gonna try throttle only here. I'm not gonna pedal at all. Let's uh, see how fast we go here. Throttle only. And I'm not pedaling. I'm gonna slow down on this uh, rainy part here. This is a commuter bike here. All right. 18, 22, 23. Okay. 
24. All right. 24 miles per hour, throttle only. I love it when a commuter bike has adjustable suspension because these roads. All right, so we're about to go up a pretty steep hill here. I'm gonna do electric only here, so I'm not pedaling. Just to see how much battery life we lose going up this hill here. Okay, 22. And this is a pretty steep hill. I say it's probably like 30 to 40 degrees. So it's pretty steep. But let's see what we got. We're going from 22. <laughs> that hill kicking that <laughs> uh, 13. Okay, 20 to 13 on a pretty steep hill. So not too bad. Crazy views today. Look at this. bike crew city commuter bike uh, what I like the most about this bike is the brakes and the pedal assist you get the perfect amount of pedal assist to where it doesn't send you flying when you pedal nor do you have to really kick it to uh, engage the electricity the pedal assist is perfect I like the adjustable suspension and the reinforced rib uh, for a step through commuter bike with uh, narrow wheels it does make the bike more stable but it makes it so stable to where if your front wheel is off even a little bit, you can feel it. So uh, definitely take this to your nearest bike shop. Make sure that your tires are balanced correctly and make sure that you uh, put the front fork alignment correctly. Regarding the battery life, I went on an 11 mile bike ride, uh, mainly on mode 4, mode 5, and throttle only. And in that 11 miles, I lost 2 out of 10 battery bars. So. If you're going max speed, I guess that's more like 50 miles per charge. So for the price, um, I think this is a really solid commuter bike. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give this bike an 8.5. Comment below what you would give this bike on a scale from 1 to 10. Any other e-bike you want me to review, also comment below. Thank you all for watching. Peace.